and taking on Nova. And it's going to be, I think, our highlight on our Enrique. We really wanted to talk about, you know, it was the Korean jungle matchup. Mm. We got River, you got Ryan taking on each other because those were the, kind of the two, you know, key components when it comes to this 2v2. On top of that, you're going to have a lot of AP when it comes to the mid lane. Rumble on Candy, G4 on Azir. I'm excited to see Nova also bringing out some different picks than what we've seen from the rest of the day. Yeah, absolutely. With this uh, Azir pick, uh, again, high expectations on towards G4 as he has been the type to never repeat a mid pick whenever it, there is a series. But let's see, it's just one match, but uh, his pool is just that big. So we get in. It is sun setting onto the rift for our final game of day one of the PCS. Been able to see some great matches so far. Got to see some rematches from LMS Summer. We got to see C strike at one of the former LMS teams in Liav against Hong Kong Attitude. And now we get two brand new organizations. Again, Talon taking on Nova. So, so excited for this matchup. Um, with Nova, again, both of these teams or players, rather, from both of these squads have been have been through a lot in their own respective regions. So I guess I'm particularly excited for Unified and Kaiwing here in their new home as a duo being retained coming from HKA, I believe. And now with no shenanigans, no funny business whatsoever, and no, uh, what do you call this? No jungle steals from earlier. No Lee Sin this time round. No Lee Sin. <laughs> Come on, I love the Lee Sins though. <laughs> It's I know spicy. It's, it's it's spicy and it's just a nightmare it's to deal with. It's the solo queue <laughs> flex, okay? Yep. Simple as that. Oh well, we're gonna see a uh, Gragas and uh, Jarvan matchup this time around, and I don't think this is probably the first time we're gonna see this matchup, correct? Because yeah, first time we've seen it. Uh, both jungle is gonna start on toward the bot side of the map. I do believe though that oh okay, Ryan's gonna go likely for a full clear. Meanwhile, River just goes buff to buff at this point. So I think, uh, all right, bit weird. I, I don't know why he's going buff to buff. We'll he's gonna take a decent amount of damage actually out of this. Yeah, oh, he's still got spray. Okay. Yeah. He'll be fine. Uh, he goes over to the Gromp. I think. Does he have enough for level three? I think he gets level three off this. Oh, G4, they're might. making moves. Yeah, uh, he's just getting that ward down. Okay. So this might be some really good. I would say scouting, but. Uh, we've only played, the, they haven't played a game yet. I was like, <laughs> well, G4, he's got some... Like, it's spider you know, senses tingling or yeah, something. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> uh, he also got the first wave push in, so it was perfectly fine. He's still sitting at even on CS, both hitting level 3. Candy, though, he wants to get aggressive here onto G4. Yeah, nicely done push coming from Candy. Just zoning G4 away from the wave that he has right now. Meanwhile, Ryan will be done with the Raptors just in time to seek, uh, seek the Scuttler around this area. Looks like the wave is shoved in favor of Rocky. Let's see if he gets the hunting down correctly. Uh, looks like he's going to back yeah. off here. So, uh, Interesting enough, unlike what we saw in our first match of the day where Rest was able to get a dominating start over the Renekton, it looks like Rocky here has actually been able to hold his own against Hanabi, already up 10 CS at three and a half minutes. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, meanwhile, bot lane, Mixed Cross, still not opting for any uh, pot usage whatsoever. Still okay, no worries with pop. But then the zoning coming from Unified and Kai Wing is just a little bit tricky on this Jin. But he's going to be fine. River clears out his crux, and it's a rather calm Yeah, start. it is. It is. Peaceful start onto the rift. No one going crazy. No one going for wacky lane swaps. Yeah, no level one aggression coming from Hanabi. Um, well, Early ward, yeah. though, from Kai Wing. Wants to see whether or not the Gragas is on this side of the map. Nope. Well, let's them secure Scuttle, and they'll get set up for Dragon if they want to go very early for it. Yeah. Uh, that's whether or not if they decide to keep pushing in this wave in bot lane. Yeah, because uh, most Ooh. of the lanes, so G4 actually running out of steam. It's, it's a rough matchup, especially with Candy. He doesn't have to worry about mana yeah. usage. G4, 
you have to rely on your soldiers to actually push back the wave, and they cost a lot of mana early. Yep. Uh, so with River nearby, I think G4 has to play rather safe. As uh, We'll see how that one Yeah. Out. And at this point, uh, again, you're right. It is going to be a tough matchup for G4, but I do imagine things will be a little bit better once Ryan has uh, stabilized things in his jungle so he can relieve a little bit of pressure for G4 in the Azir. And uh, since there's not a lot of uh, priority, priority just yet um, on that dragon area, we see that Ryan has you know, control over that. But Nick's Cross is quite low, so if they do start something, it might be a little bit awkward for them to start. Well, and Miss Cross himself a little low on the mana. He's been trying to yeah. push back there. G4 went back to base, picked up two amp tomes for themselves. Mm -hmm. So he'll have a little bit extra mana too. He got himself the blue crystal. So he can look to try and push back the wave. Uh, right, yeah, control ward though, coming out from Nova, so they'll see that this dragon could be started up. Mm. Candy's gonna come over though and add support. As uh, that bot lane being pushed on in. Oh, though Talon just seems a little indecisive. They decide oh. to back off. I'm shocked, they had that Inter push. They have yeah. priority. Interesting. And oh, as well. Rocky. Oh, Rocky, very, very brave. But yeah, you're right. I mean, Ryan was also all the way up. I mean, they don't have information that Ryan was all the way at the top side of the map, but I guess they do seem to show a little bit of indecisiveness. I'm liking, I'm liking the, the aggression coming out there from Rocky, yeah. though. Uh, not afraid to go aggressive onto Hanabi, and that's and that's Rocky style. Yeah. Rocky likes getting in your face in the top lane. He likes playing aggressive. That's why I'm excited for the fights later on, especially the 5v5 fights uh, from, from Nova side, since that's where they try to... What do you call this? Uh, I would, why did why did prosper the word prosper <laughs> <laughs> came into my head? I have no idea why. But anyway, oh, pop pop. He's gonna get knocked up. He's also gonna get tagged Ooh. and stunned up. G4 though gets a little bit of damage. Oh, and the gangplank ultimate coming out supports, and that's gonna be the first blood going on over to Talon. As River is able to secure the kill, and with that, Scuttle is also gonna go down and likely an infernal. A lot gained off one quick pick off pop. That's the patience game being played by Talon Esports, and it was rewarded well for themselves. Pop was in the wrong place, uh, at the right place. That's the right place for Talon. Yeah, it was. Yeah, right place for Talon, <laughs> wrong place for Nova. Uh, we'll take a look there. I think uh, yeah, it's just a simple catch out here. Pop. Oh, he did, he. I don't oh. think he saw the ward go down. Uh huh. So he assumed that he missed it in the last second or so, but yeah, easy pick up there on the side of Talon. Yeah, unfortunately the flash didn't help Pop at all in that situation, and therefore the reset has happened. First dragon of the game, Infernal towards Talon Esports, and meanwhile Rocky having the time of his life, actually losing the trade there against Hanabi, but still managed to get one plate, I suppose, from the tower. One plate, and still has about two waves mm -hmm. advantage over the gangplank. Yeah. We see Ryan, he wants to try and get a little bit of invade, gonna get some information. Oh, they just want to try and deny this Oop. one away from River. Oh, Ryan, you see River here. Oh. Gets away from the knockup, but ends up using the body slam to get out to safety. Unified though, bullet time comes oh. out. Oh, Ryan just able Equalizer. to hold on. Equalizer coming out from Candy. And he says, all right, let's bring in the Siege Candy from downtown on the Equalizer, picking up the kill onto Ryan. Very nicely done here by Talon. That was such a yummy Equalizer, but, you know, Ryan had nowhere else to go. You know where to put down that ult. And now not only did they get a kill, they also get rewarded with a Rift Herald for themselves. So that was really tricky for Nova. They were a little bit uh, comfortable to take that, uh, that blue buff there. Yeah, Ryan, he thought he got away. And then Candy. Oh, Weep. nicely done. Oh, There's wow. nothing you can really do if you're Ryan there. <laughs> oh, Meanwhile, oh, that's a, that's a feels bad. Next cross. Ultimate being denied by the Braum. This is going to allow a siege come through for the side of Talon. Oh, they opt to not try and go for that turret plate, though. I think Mixtross can. Eh, yeah, he should be able to clear uh. that out. I hate when you have to reload. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
Well, looks like they're going to start again. Wait for the second wave to push in and get that plate. I don't think... It, not sure if it, it wasn't taken just yet, so maybe they can try to leech off that fifth plate as, uh, as Mix Cross was able to finish the waves in time for it before it could tick. Rocky in danger. Oh, no, Rocky. Can't handle ha Hanabi. Yeah, we saw the matchup earlier. Um, Hanabi and as well as... Oh, wait, no. Uh, it Renekton was and Gangplank. Versus, yeah. uh, oh, buddy. Who was the first one? Siv versus Rest. Yeah. Uh, and Rest was able to do decently well early. And then the Ro and then the Renekton actually took over. This time around, it's kind of the opposite. But Rocky still has a bit of a CS advantage. Yeah. Still probably trying to wait for a Tiamat complete baby, perhaps, later on. So Sheen, meanwhile, for the Gangplank. But now... We see the Rift Herald being summoned, and meanwhile, there's just only two members there. So Mix Cross and Pop may be in an awkward, maybe in an awkward position, if if they decide to stay. Um, now they're gonna uh, concede that one, and G4 on the other hand will decide to push mid lane instead. But Candy is on way, on his way back, so it's gonna be he won't be able to get anything out of that so far. So nicely done. First tower of the game over in favor of Talon. Gives themselves a 2200 gold lead at about 11 minutes. So not a bad start. Meanwhile, too, uh, Unified's starting to get a big, big CS lead over Mixed Cross, too, because of this. Exactly. It seems like a lot of these C teams just are having trouble when it comes to lane swaps or just trying to separate away from laning phase immediately. So they just want to stay in that laning phase, try and farm up a little bit more, but... Uh, a lot of these former LMS teams, they say, nope, we're going to go ahead, get you moving across the map immediately. And the thing is, it was uh, Ryan and as well as G4 who worked in too deep of in the jungle parts of Talon Esports. And now they had to reap what they sow. But now this is going to be a sneaky play. Oh, no. River, run. Uh, River. Oh, uh, it's fancy. Hot Pot going to go on down with Ryan in the Ooh. middle of it. Ends up using his stopwatch. But Rumble is able to burn him down as Greg is going to get taken out. Meanwhile, here over toward the side, Unify ends up using the bullet time, is able to separate the fight. Pop is now caught over to the side. Candy flashes away to safety. And Pop trying to Spider-Man his way out to safety as well. And looks like he will be able to. In the end, it is only just going to be the single kill going on over to Talon. I absolutely thought it was going to be Nova's win because they were the first ones to pull the trigger and they actually jumped on toward River and I, I, I think they didn't have enough damage at the time and that was a really interesting interaction. Cataclysm at the cast <laughs> to Parth Ryan and now he's going to be the golden frog as River managed to get away so uh, Nova Esports wasn't able to get the kills that they wanted to and actually suffer the consequences of losing Ryan as well. Yeah. Candy able to get to safety with that flash, though, so they won't be super bummed out there. At least yeah. Nova were able to get a summoner or two out of that fight. But still, it's about a 3,000 gold lead now for Talon. And with that extra bit of pressure, there is an item difference when it comes to the AD carries. Yes. This would be a point that if Talon wanted to go for that Mountain Drake, they easily could. Uh, and you know what's also scary? What? We have ourselves possibly a Cloud Drake soul then going to be coming up next because it would be likely it or the ocean. And Talon's comp is kind of disgusting if you have cooldown reduction on yes. that ultimate. Oh, I, I can't imagine. Gangplank ult. Actually, just practically everyone. Everyone loves it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But, yep, there we go. They have control over this area. Uh, Nova Esports will, has no choice but to concede this one. And meanwhile, because uh, uh, Rocky ha had lost his top lane, and now the lane swap might be a little bit awkward for him, but there's still four plates on that gangplank. And looks like Hanabi will have a fun time just clearing the waves with the barrels. Yeah. And like we mentioned, Cloud Drake Soul gonna be next up on the list. Unified also gonna get Oh No. He just no. missed that turret plate. That that hurts. Oh yeah, yeah. It happens. Every it doesn't matter. He's almost fifty CS yeah. up over Mix Cross. Yeah. I am not sold on the gin pick. I'll tell you that much. I I, I it wasn't even that. Like you got if you're falling this far behind, zero zero zero, it means you're also getting stomped in lane if you're on this point. So I'm very afraid 
for Nova right now. Uh, maybe Mixed Cross. It was. It was also his decision to play the Jin into the MF. Maybe it's one of just. Maybe he was feeling it today. Like, maybe I he was feeling. I, it. I feel like playing Jin. I'm confident. Uh, even though per, per se, like I, I, I wouldn't have the best laning uh, ever. Hanabi. I wouldn't do this, buddy. He can't stop oh. the TP. He's caught underneath. He uses the Gangplank Ultimate to try and save his life. It doesn't matter. Does he get popped? Pop. No. Gets out of range of the tower. Uh, that's rather risky, Whoop. though, if they keep staying down here with only the one minion. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> able to escape. And hey, I said Mixed Cross needed to get something. He gets himself a kill off Hanabi. Mepsuri, that was a very... I mean, I don't think Hanabi was aware that... Everyone was there in the bottom side of the map. <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, still. Yeah, it was uh, probably trying to save uh, the tower and see if he can do something else. But yeah, Hanavi had to suffer the consequences this time around. But at least his uh, tower is still intact. And I just realized the animation for Kai Wing's skin is just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the splashes. You heard the splashes? splashes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, we uh, kill. No. It's Hi. only the first day <laughs> of PCS and we're talking about splashes. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Anyway, moving forward. Um, you, know, you know, Hanabi always said he always thought himself to be the number 10th top laner when it came to the PCS. So, uh, really? Oh. Yeah, well, I think he's just being humble. Okay. <laughs> I think he thinks he's actually rather good. He just says, yeah, I'm just not good at top lane. And I, <laughs> we're like, Hanabi, stop. All right. Though, to be honest, he's now down 60 CS against Rocky. This has not gone all that well for Hanabi. Yeah, it was very topsy-turvy at first. Um, it was Hanabi just dominating um, Rocky in the lane, but I suppose it really is different, especially if you're up against a Renekton. Uh, at this point, you're always going to be shoved in your own tower if you don't land those barrels barrels well, and Rocky was, will just be able to deny that from you and trade well as he's just going to go all in, stun you, heal back, get out. Well, Ping's coming out toward mid lane here, as that's going to be unified in Kai Wing. Go back to match the duo of Nova's. Uh, man, Kai Wing, he's making up at least for the top lane CS difference himself. He's yeah. still sitting at about 60 CS above. Huge. You know, aiming for that flame horizon, possibly. Bot lane, we haven't seen a lot of G4, unfortunately, this game. Yeah. Uh, on the Azir. And, uh, yes, I would not stay there, G4. If Unify and Kai Wing stay. No, they're not. Okay, so G4, I don't think he'd be able to defend much. He should oh, be able to clear like Shelly. may be able to defend, but it's just a, a few chunks here and there, and uh, that tower is going to be down. But Rocky! Uh, Hanabi, you're Whoop. two levels down, buddy. Uh, you're going to use that cleanse. He's able to get to safety, so it's a rather even trade. Still, Rocky's two levels on Hanabi right yeah. now. This is disgusting. It's insane. Like, what's going on? Okay, Rocky, you missed cannon. All right. <laughs> Alt F4, get out of here. You saw what happened. Yep. Denying every single barrel at this point. Now, the next dragon is going to be spawning in a few. But Talon is, I guess, doing a good job um, at this point. They're in the lead, but I feel like the problem in the near future would be... In the near future. In the, in the game later on would definitely be Rocky. Uh, if ever they do manage to catch Unified later on into these 5v5 mm -hmm. fights. So that's the only thing I'm worried about uh, at this point for Talon. Now, they're in the lead now. They're uh, they're in a comfy spot, but with Nova Esports, they've been um, the, the the players. Majority of the players have been in tight situations before, where they had to play from behind. So this was probably not. They're no stranger to this kind of situation. Let's see River moving over. They got the scuttle and they also have Pryo now on Whoop. to the Cloud Dragon. Do they want to go on in? There's that choke point they're looking for. Hot Pot goes on down and Ryan's gonna burn up a little bit too hot in the Mala. He's gonna get taken down. He does actually trade back with the help of Pop and Mix Cross. Whoop. That is such a late ultimate. Whoa, buddy. Ooh, okay. Well, he Mix was Cross is safe. backing right now. The team is still fighting. Oh. All right. He's not gonna cancel. Oh, he's got no health though. He almost went down. Yeah. How did he almost? What? Uh, how did he almost die? I don't remember I him being see. in that fight. Yeah, I, I was so busy. What? Looking at Ryan, 
Ryan situation over at that choke point near the blue buff. Um, yeah, I guess we'll check it out later. Yeah, I'm gonna see it now. Okay, so I think Mixed Cross got on the tail end of this actually. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, they go in with River over there and Mixed Cross. Actually, in a very oh, he walks oh, back equal, into the gangplank ultimate and the equalizer. <laughs> okay, Mix Cross, buddy. Oh, buddy, calm down. Okay, that was a little, a little questionable. Uh, River in the pit, going on to that seal. Can he get it? No, no. it's gonna be smited by Ryan, able to control there. Okay, all right. Now we <laughs> calm down now. <laughs> Nova find themselves some extra cooldown reduction on their ultimates. Yeah, they'll be pretty happy. Yeah, they managed to deny such an such a key dragon buff away from Talon Esports. Especially you don't want to see that disgusting gangplank ult in the equalizer again. You saw oh, Mix Cross, we thought he was healthy, <laughs> but no, he was just burned. I'll be frank, I, that. Uh, that was that was a rough run for Mix Cross. <laughs> I think we're being a little too hard on Mix Cross. He's only he still hasn't died this game, so he's still doing fairly well. Yeah. Only difference is really the CS and again how useful he is going to be when it comes to the team play, of course. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, with G4 actually in a very uh, huge CS lead uh, against Candy here, but Candy with a 202 KDA at this point with landing a lot of key equalizers so far into this game. So I'm expecting a lot more of that. So without the at least, you know, they're a little bit nerfed without that air drake on the hands of Talon Esports. So Nova would gladly have that and finally destroy the top side tower. Yeah, Rocky's going to get some extra gold for himself. He's going to be pretty happy. Talon, though, still playing this, uh, you know, NA RAM at this point. You know, not sticking away, not going away to any of these other side lanes. Hanabi is still trying to pressure in onto it. He's going to farm up. He's just going to scale up on that Gangplank. You know, the later this game goes, the more useful that Gangplank becomes, usually. can still use the ultimate. can still get a massive barrel during a team fight if no one's occupied. You can see Uni unified in there. He's comfortable. He's taking a sip of the water. He's just doing all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after taking a break after all that fight I, what, earlier, what, but like, all the pings, though. All the pings. <laughs> all the pings in the world. Let's see here. But yeah, they really do want to get that mid tower out of their hair at this point for Talon Esports. But because of the really scary potential of starting the fight, um, especially with Ryan in and Pop as well, I think that's the reason why they're a little bit more um, wary. Unified highest uh, goal ranking in the game at this point. with just farming up and it's continuing to grow against Mixpot. I'm interested because a lot of the a lot of the style that we see from Nova and how they played back when they were Mega in the LST, uh -huh. where a majority of this roster came from, was they often relied on mistakes from their opponents. Uh. And right now, it seems like that's kind of their game plan right now. They're just hoping, hey, Talon might make a misplay here, some play at some point. We can look to capitalize, then we can come back into this game, get a quick drag, and get into a Baron, then look to see Jin. I think, though, when you're going against a team that is, uh, for all in all honesty, Talon's roster on paper looks quite strong. Yeah. If anything, they're going to make mistakes because of the lack of synergy they have built up so far. But the team's been scrimming nonstop, oh. even during the break here. And there we go. Bullet oh. time directly onto Pop. Uses Gargoyle's stolen plate to get over to safety. Will flash away. Again, both of these squads just looking for one person to catch out. I think that's why the vision game is going to become so important now as Talon look to position themselves toward the top side of this map. But you're super right, though. Well, we've seen it time and time again. Whenever um, before Ascension or Mega Esports were behind, the, uh, behind in the game, it was always that late game miracle team fight where Rocky does something or G4 does something in the team fight <laughs> and just turn things around in that instant. So it's amazing that you brought that up right that is the that is the pattern that we've seen most of the time when, whenever we see nova or a uh, mega ascension uh, way 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 back uh in, in in lst or maybe in uh gcm even so i'm excited how they can come back from this because again this is a different team uh, they're up against and the different version of their team as well so talent esports i feel like 
they're really not going to give any leeway for Nova Esports at this point. No. Uh, it's much more experience. Again, Ryan oh. getting caught out oh. into a gangplank ultimate. G4 over towards the side. Does he want to try and jump in? He decides not to. Ryan burned down! Woo! <laughs> he got enough health off his passive when he put down the barrel. I disagree with this from Talon. I think you go Baron. You force them to make something happen. You just have the Gragas go back. Yeah. No, no, no cast. Oh, G4 well. had teleport. Okay, so they got a teleport burnt out of it too. I guess... It is totally fine to just go for the next dragon of the game. Try to zone them out as well. Let's see what Nova Esports does because this is one of those things. Where oh, did it start something? Oh, choke point. Here we go, Nova. What do they try and go for here? Bit of a toss up. It's going to go on over to Talon. Here we go. Equalizer goes on down. G4 getting ripped apart. Oh. Able to survive though, over toward the side. Candy gets to safety and no one goes down. Retreat and looks like the game plan is now to destroy mid lane finally after 25 minutes into the game. Oh, Teleport! Hanabi. I'm so scared. Oh, Hanabi. I'm we so saw. Scared. Oh my god, that was frame perfect coming out from Pop. But meanwhile, the bullet time, it was all a bait Riku apparently. A cat oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, calm down, bud. It seems like there's almost, they're almost venting frustration. They're like, yeah. how is no one dead? After all After these ultimates being used. Exactly, from Dragon and then uh, they aim for mid, and then that was a perfectly timed cue from Pop, and still no one fell. And that's why Ryan was like, hey, here's a cask. I'm so done, I'm out of here. <laughs> but it's more like, of course, a disengage. Gragas, um, it's when you get you when you tell Greg is finally, this is your tab, bud. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. nope. Nope. Get me out of here. Don't want to listen to it. Oh, oh, oh that fade away cast. That was, yeah. But, yeah, better safe than sorry. So sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm the Canadian here. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. And that's all you got to do. There you go. <laughs> there. Thanks for the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. You get to you get to teach me uh, the... Filipino? The Filipino, Filipino, yeah. 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 Don't worry. We've, we've got a whole split to learn I am going to be fluent. Terms. So I can lead the Liab army oh. with my faith. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're in that camp now. <laughs> I, I didn't choose the camp. The, cho the camp chose me, apparently. Well. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Pushing that one back, mixed cross. Still only sitting on one completed item. He really needs to go back. He's only got the Storm Ranger. You'd like to see that Infinity Edge, I guess, completed. Uh, he's got no Zeal item either. Mm -hmm. Usually you see the zeal item. Oh yeah, he built he built the static, but that was another static. The uh, the shiv. Oh jeez. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. My. Oh Hana B. Yeah, I'll run baby, uh. because unfortunately Rocky's on top. Yeah, and he's ah Hana B. The man that lived apparently. Never mind. <laughs> Rocky's like, oh, I didn't kill him. Ah, gosh darn. Uh, still Anopa. not enough. Are they think I'm gonna try and position for this. Nova can really shred this apart with an Azir. Well, they have an Azir, but then I s they have a Jin. Jin doesn't really tear it apart. Yeah. Well, Rocky can keep pushing here, though. Rocky's kind of become a little bit of an issue. True. That This is what he does, right? Like, if you don't deal with Rocky, especially a in a comfort pick such as Renekton, I it's just either a problem in a team fight or a problem in the map as that split pusher. And it works super well. And Hanabi's having a difficult time for sure, especially if he's caught off guard and still <laughs> well yeah we'll, we'll talk about that one later yeah. Yeah, i don't know what his plan is there but mixed cross clears out the raptors uh he's <laughs> he's gotta be careful though he's about to get flame horizon by unified unified's been farming up a store on this misfortune my well my. over 10 cs a minute yeah 100 lead almost against yeah. mixed cross Insane. All right, Mixed Cross, where are you going to go back? I, is he just going to go ahead? I think he just goes and gets the Infinity Edge if he's not going to get a Zeal item. Yeah, goes for the Infinity Edge, wants the extra crit damage, understandable, for the Jin. Uh, gets himself another cloak, get himself some more crit chance. I'm loving it. It's the Earth tactic at this point. It is. It makes oh, it huh? wait. Huh? Candy. All right, so this is the first instance we've had an instance. Uh, you know, if you, any of you guys watch LCK, you have heard about the Forbidden Book. <laughs> Poor and I don't know why Candy has gotten this at all. 
when he could just go Void Staff. He's already got the Leandris. Rhea has enough money as well. There's no healing also on the side of Nova. He yeah, can't even yeah. use the healing. Maybe against he Ragas like, he, and Renekton. Which, which but look at this. You'd be pretty much doing true damage Yeah. at this point. Uh, I guess there isn't a whole lot of MR. He can get away with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, G4. Uh, G4. In a very... Let's see Not where they want to go. It's hidden. Talon, they're oh, trying to set up a trap. River. Oh, River. You're <laughs> in the River. River. Uh, River, you just jumped into the Nautilus. He's going to get hooked on back. They find themselves a knock up. There goes the oh. Equalizer. Oh, beautiful cast coming out from Ryan, though. And they get the shutdown going on over to G4 as Pop flashes away to safety. All right. That's going to be a two for nothing exchange draw. Nova won that one, and that leaves open... And Airdrake, now they're still pinging over that barren area, most likely try to secure uh, vision first. Yeah, just in case. Vision. Yeah, just in case Nova decides to scooch over towards the Baron. That's 20 seconds on the clock. This was a huge barrel, though, coming out yeah. from Ryan. Sure, you know what? Unified's been able to farm up a storm, but if he gets caught out by a barrel it like this, boom. boom, he's out of there. Uh, I love that. That is so yummy. That is so juicy. Pop, of course, had to flash. But now at this point, Unified, three seconds. That's still four members lurking around as Jarvan, oh, River. Candy. Candy doesn't have ultimate. If they had oh, ult, this is beautiful. Pop. Hanabi. Oh, they got to go in. Where'd they go? They could go in. They got to. Oh, no. no. So Nova get themselves the Baron at least. Are they actually, is, is Pop just going <laughs> to. <laughs> I thought Pop actually was about to get Me back too. to base. That would have been insane. Oh. Okay, so. Baron is secured here on this. Wait, yeah, yeah. Here we go. What do they do now? G4 trying to lead the charge. He's got himself two kills. Uh, okay, so now that they have... But now we have two members slowly walking towards mid lane. So I oh. assume Talon is going to get this first here uh, mid tower. And now Nova Esports just got to get that reset because bot lane is pushing slowly towards their end. But now they have Baron. Now they can fight, fight, fight back. I'm disappointed in Candy. He had stopwatch available too. He could have went for the hero play mm. on that Baron pit. Unfortunately, though, that is going to be the Baron lost to Nova, and Nova found themselves a gold lead finally. They've been down the entire time as of late. Yeah, and I mean, again, this is the like Thailand special so far we've seen from the LSDN as well as the uh, GCM before where as long uh, as the game progresses I think that's how they get stronger they warm up they just know how to maneuver and find the right opportunities especially when Thailand gets a little bit loose uh, from earlier there was no vision at that river area and that's the reason why it snowballed into a barren take because they were the talent esports was caught off guard by the engage of nova so we'll see now nova has the baron now they're pushing towards the two lanes so far and they're working it yeah and you can take a look here on gold graph it's just swung back all the way down to nova once again as they're able to finally find themselves a lead after being down for over 25 minutes Baron buff hasn't been huge, though. They've yeah. only got about 50 seconds. They've only been able to secure about 1,700. The bigger question is, can they get themselves an inhibitor off this siege? I think there's too much wave clear on the side of Talon. I think they can delay it. Yeah, that's true. And they always have to fear the uh, the cannon barrage coming from Hanabi and Equalizer. That is a straight path. So a lot of choke points, it will make it difficult for them to escape. So if Talon wants to pull the trigger, it could be anytime. Hanabi, though, busy just harassing Rocky out of that and clearing that wave over there. Throughout the wave, 20 seconds on Baron. They might get an extra push with minions, but it will dissipate here shortly. So it looks like Nova, unless they're able to get Ooh. this final push off here, they might get themselves the inhibitor tower and it shall fall. Baron buff, though, is going to go away. Does Hanabi? Talon make a stand here? Ooh. Hanabi trying to get the barrel. He does tag Ryan, but that's all he's able to get as Baron will expire. And I think Nova are able to claim themselves about a 2,000 gold lead in the end. All right. So Nova at least managed to get up that bottom, or rather that top tier, top second tier tower 
and as well as the inhibitor tower of the game. Nova Esports slowly creeping in and very scary once again as the gold lead has swung tremendously towards Nova Esports and now they do want to deny that fourth dragon away from Talon as well. So now that's going to be their next game plan for sure. Again, I'm really scared still because any the, the same thing could happen. The same fate could happen with the Wombo combo still from Talon available. So Nova will have to tread carefully here. So Scuttle going to be secured. Going to have ourselves another Cloud Drake in about a minute. That would make three for Nova. Talon are looking for Soul off the next dragon if they can get it. If not, though, Nova have a chat opportunity to get themselves a 40% cooldown reduction on their ultimates. Still 5-4. to four. Very close game. Down to the Razor's Edge. It's going to be whoever makes the mistake first. And recently, it looks like Talon have been the ones to do that. Yeah. Let's see here, though. Nova regroup to start prioritizing toward the Cloud Drake. Ah. Uh. We'll see here. Talon, they know what's going on. It's just darkness on their uh, side. Uh, it's so hard. River oh. gets it, goes oh. in, not able to steal it away. Gets the Cataclysm onto the back line. Meanwhile, that's going to be Unified trying to use the bullet time, not able to find anything. Ryan going over the wall, flash body slam. He finds oh. Kai <laughs> Wing. He'll find the kill. And G4 brings in oh. the Empire as they're able to find themselves a kill. Ryan, though, also going down. It's getting turned back around. Talon, it's too hot for Nova. And Talon are able to show them why they bleed Crimson as they're able to turn back the fight. It's a three for one in favor of Talon Esports. Uh, all these stopwatches on the side of Talon Esports. And I think uh, Rumble Candy didn't even have to use his. And now they're pushing towards that mid tower. Nova Esports, that's a lot of death timers. That's long death timers at that. Rocky will be the latest or lead of. Uh, Rather, 30 seconds on the clock for Rocky. This is that's, tough. <laughs> that's that's going to be the inhibitor tower. Does Talon try and pull the trigger here? They don't have Kai Wing. I think they're able to get the inhibitor. Are they going to try and end? end? Mixed Cross, he has to stay alive. Pop is going to do what he can, but oh. the Equalizer goes immediately down onto the Jin. That's going to be a triple knockup, ah. though, coming back in their favor. Ah. Ryan finds himself the Body Slam, but guess what? Your Nexus is being attacked here, Nova. you got to defend. It doesn't matter. Talon are just going to rush the base, and they take home the victory over Nova. My brain exploded because Nova Esports had, well, sort of, they were already starting to set their foundation okay this is the time where we're probably going to win and that one team fight which 